This is a military exercise on the uh, landscape in Djibouti, which is a country below Ethiopia, and it's the American army. And what, what this is, is this is exposing soldiers to, to explosions so that they know what it feels like to be exposed to an explosion uh, before they are. So it's a training exercise. What's curious about these images is that many of them have this very strange sense of theater and opera and sort of, you know, sort of a type of a staging. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think what fascinated me about that image was first, first of all, the kind of the, the physicality of it. So there's a sense in which there was a, a palpable, visceral quality to the image. And the, the body, the position of the body, did seem quite balletic in a way. There's a sense in which those were choreographed forms. Following the commission, because Wayne um, commissioned this world for the new work, for, for Wayne's new work, um, and so I had to get on a plane to Djibouti in, um, you know, in Africa and landed there uh, just after Christmas um, and uh, traveled down to, you know, through Ethiopia down to Djibouti. And what I have to do to make these, this piece is then I spend a week, first of all, finding this, the place where that original image was taken in Djibouti. And then I have to photograph everything on that site, all the trees, all the rocks. And then I go back to Vienna and there's a team of modelers who then spend about four months building everything again in three dimensions as a virtual world. What you're going to see on the stage if you, if you come and see the performance is a projected virtual world. I think the other thing that's really fascinating about it is the relationship between the military and ballet. The very first ballet dancers that were trained were trained military cadets. And that was the beginning of the Vaganova school. And at the same time, about the same period, Leonardo da Vinci was not only making uh, military machinery and inventing military machinery, he was also inventing stage machinery, and he drew that amazing picture that we all know, the Vitruvian Man, which formed the tenant of some of the very first classical ballet positions.